Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to share with you five fragrances and whether I would purchase them again or not. Now, this idea is from someone named Susie's World Official. Uh, she has an Instagram channel. I'll leave her link down below. But she had DM'd me and said, would you do a video based around your fragrance empties and whether you would purchase them again? I don't have any fragrance empties, but I thought it would make a great video just talking about why I may or may not repurchase even if I do like them. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm going to start with Angel Nova by Mugler. Now this is a bright tart raspberry. It's very tart, kind of makes my mouth water. The raspberry is sweet. It's quite candy-esque. But what I find with this fragrance is that the tartness outweighs the raspberry. So raspberry is one of my favorite notes. I absolutely adore raspberry in a fragrance. But this one, it's just a little too tart for me. And then it dries down to be quite woody. So this one's been a bit of a challenge from the get-go. Uh, I do wear it on occasion. And anytime I do wear it, I get a compliment. I know a lot of people really, really enjoy this fragrance. But honestly, this would be one that I would pass on. I wouldn't repurchase this. I'm glad I've only got a 30 mil and definitely won't be repurchasing. Um, as far as what I would replace it with, I'm not actually sure. Um, I, I'd want something that's kind of raspberry and sparkling. Uh, that's what I'm kind of looking for in the summertime, which is what I thought this would be. So this actually works really well in the winter. Uh, but in the summer, I just find it honestly to be mu too much. It's strong. Uh, it's too tart for me. And overall, I'm, I'm not a huge fan. So this one would be a pass. The next fragrance is my beloved Amethyst by Lalique. Now I've talked about this as being a fairy, fairy fragrance. It's there's a little bit of a musky quality to this one, but you get kind of uh, green berries with the stems and the, the leaves. So it's a little bit of a green fragrance. Uh, there's a, a, a an aquatic quality to it somehow. It smells very refreshing. It smells as if you were running through a forest at dawn where the dew is on everything and then you gra you start picking berries but you kind of smell the bush uh, with the berries and the stems and the leaves and the dew. That's what you get in this fragrance. So it's very refreshing. It's It's very beautiful. That said, I wouldn't repurchase this one. Uh, I, I've, I've enjoyed it. I will continue to enjoy this one, but I wouldn't repurchase it. And the reason why is I would just replace it with Meliora by Parfums de Marley. Now, Meliora is very, very similar, except it's got a little bit of an added sweetness to it. Uh, it's a little bit smoother. So this one feels a little bit fuzzy uh, because of the musk that's in there. It's a little bit sharper, whereas Meliora is a little smoother. Um, and this, and Meliora has that sweetness that I'm looking for. So just an added sweetness, but still staying refreshing and, and uh, a, a little bit green. The other thing about Meliora is that the longevity is way better than this. So Meliora, I get at least six to seven hours out of it. This one I get about four. So uh, price tag wise, this is a way better deal. So if you don't ever wanna spring for Meliora because it's too much money, this is a great option. But as for me, uh, I would find this redundant if I had Meliora and definitely I want Meliora. So, so I would actually pass on this one too. Next fragrance is Dolce, Dolce & Gabbana's Dolce Garden. Now this is a beautiful, coconut nectar like fragrance this smells like a planet where everything kind of emits this soft glowing light uh, and is kind of radiating color uh, that's what the the world smells like on that planet it's nectar like there's coconut in this a bit of waxy floral um, it's very thick and syrupy but i just absolutely love it i love wearing this one uh, really enjoy it for spring and summer. Honestly, you could wear it anytime. Uh, it can get a little cloying in the, the summer, um, but it's just a beautiful fragrance. Now, would I repurchase this or not? Can you guess? Of course I'd repurchase this one. Like it smells like a, a delicious alien planet 
the nectar from that planet, like it, you could sell this as nectar from the gods. Like it just, it's delicious. It's sweet. It's coconut. It's syrupy. It's over the top. And I absolutely love it and will never be without this one. So this one, I would definitely repurchase. Next fragrance is my beloved Eau de Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. Now this fragrance, it's like the most luxurious sunscreen you ever imagined. You're on a yacht in the Mediterranean. You've got this white flowy situation on with a white one piece bathing suit and the high heels. Your gauzy thing is like flowing in the wind. You're wearing gold jewelry. You've got a gold Rolex on. You're relaxing on the, the top deck of your yacht and you smell like Eau de Soleil Blanc. Not a care in the world. This fragrance is so beautiful. It's it's quite aromatic. It's, it's not very sweet. There's a little hint of creaminess, uh, but it smells, it smells like, like there's resins in here and like the most high-end sunscreen you could ever get. So I find this one really refreshing. The longevity on this is like three hours. So very, very short-lived. Uh, in fact, as fast as you put it on, it feels like it disappears. Would I purchase this one again? No, as much as I absolutely adore this one, uh, I haven't used it as much as I anticipated. So that's number one. Number two, um, it's so short lived. So three hours max and I can't smell it again. So instead I would actually go with Jennifer Aniston's chapter one. So this fragrance smells very similar. It's a little bit more powdery than this one. This one has a little bit more aromatic balsamic quality than this one, but they're very, very close. So, it, you know, being I don't use it very often, the Jennifer Aniston one would do the trick. So I'd either go with this as a cheapie or I would just upgrade and go with the Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. So get rid of the Oda and just do the full on Soleil Blanc. That one's a little bit richer, a little bit creamier. Uh, and I think that I, I likely would go that direction over chapter one, but if you're wanting an affordable option, uh, to the Eau de Soleil Blanc. This one's great. Uh, longevity isn't great on this one either, but c given this one is uber, uber affordable, uh, this would be the way I, I would go or like take it up a notch and go with the Soleil Blanc. So yeah, I wouldn't repurchase my beloved Eau de Soleil Blanc, even though it's amazing. Last fragrance. I just have a travel spray of this one and it's new to my collection, but I've smelled it and worn it because I've borrowed Hessie's in the past and it is Kaali's Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. So this one, it's a beautiful kind of creamy coconut fragrance. It's light, it's airy. I think there's TRA in here. It smells so delicious. There's a powdery quality to this. Sometimes I find summer coconut fragrances can go a little bit, a little bit like smelling like powdered diapers to me. And this does not, this is an amazing, coconut fragrance. I think it's fantastic. And I would definitely repurchase this. I know I'll go through this very quickly, uh, but this is a coconut fragrance that I always want in my collection. I, I wanted to see how fast I'd go, get through this, but once I'm through this, I'm definitely buying a full bottle. I know that right now. So yeah, full bottle for sure again. And that is it. Three no's, two yeses. What about you? Would you repurchase these? So if you have them in your collection, weigh in down below and say whether you would purchase them again. I would love to hear and so would everyone else. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.